Well, we're all by now used to big snowstorms, but when you hear the storm is headed our way, it's hard to determine how much damage it will cause, both environmentally and financially. Tonight, local researchers are trying to change that. As News Channel 9's Rachel Polanski explains, they're developing a system that tracks and monitors storm patterns in the Great Lakes to better prepare central New Yorkers when big storms hit. Uh, everything you're seeing here is the ice cover and layer of Lake Ontario. But what's below the ice? Is there erosion or structural damage? That's what researchers with New York Sea Grant are trying to find out. Have us really look at when does this happen, how does it occur, and how can we better be prepared. The project focuses on the dunes along Lake Ontario in Oswego County and on the Sodus Bay area in Wayne County. And out here on the lakeshore, you can have 30, 40, 50 mile an hour winds that could be having a significant impact if not being prepared for it. Just how significant? Researchers don't know. That's why they're reviewing data, maps, and reports on previous Great Lakes storms. They're also taking a closer look at photos. So how will the photo monitoring work? Well, each year a person will come out to the designated location along Lake Ontario. They'll take a photo. Over time, researchers will be able to compare these photos and they'll see what's changed or what's remained the same. Some of you might remember the storm that hit in June of 2010. It had a lot of uh, wind and also some rain. Um, and there were a number of downed trees, structural damage to some buildings. And so it was a really severe event. This project will create a database of Great Lakes storms like the one that hit in 2010. And if there's a storm that fits a specific pattern, researchers hope they'll recognize it a few days before the storm hits. Then they can relay that information to nearby neighbors and businesses. At the end, it's going to be about what they need and what we can provide to them is a research and outreach team to put together some of those answers. Because you can't stop Mother Nature, but you can be prepared. In Sandy Creek, Rachel Polanski, News Channel 9. And we're told tonight New York Sea Grant received $80,000 worth of funding from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration for this two-year project.